win. So, uh, the memories uh, will stick with me for a long time. Were you expecting to play that first match? Well, I, I hoped um, at the time Scott Hodges was uh, a late exclusion out of the game. I think he had a calf injury, I think, at the time. And then I came in, but I was hoping uh, I was very much going to be a part of it. But um, as it fell, that was the way. And I ended up sitting on the bench and uh, got a run late in the last quarter with the incident between Paul Deere, Dermot Brereton and the skipper then, Chris McDermott. Well, we've just sort of uh, spoken to Dermot about that, Rod. I mean, uh, Dermot said he had to do something to uh, fly the flag. And of course, uh, he became, if he wasn't already, certainly public enemy number one of uh, the South Australian public. Yeah, well, that he was too. Um, <laughs> look, I had lunch with Chris McDermott today myself, and he's still eating through his ear at the <laughs> moment from that particular incident. But it was, well, it was almost a Malachi crunch between him and uh, Paul Deere. And having played with Chris McDermott at Glenelg and then with Adelaide, you very rarely see him get knocked out. And uh, there were two big men that uh, took him to do that. And, he butted up the following week, but uh, he used to put his head where a lot of people wouldn't put his feet. <laughs> he was an amazing player, Dermot, wasn't he? Now, Rod, just tell us about... The, it was an interesting team because it was almost like a state team. There were a lot of players that played in this match that were near the end of their careers and didn't play a lot of senior footy. Bruce Lindsay was a star in South Australia. Grant Filkey had a go at Collingwood. Peter McIntyre played a few games. Daryl Hart had a couple of seasons, and so did David Marshall. I mean, Marshall and Hart in particular look like they've been playing AFL footy their entire lives. Yeah. Um